Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Jeremy, and today we want to talk about following without knowing all the details. Depending on how you're wired, what we're going to talk about today may sound exciting or horrible. I was talking to a person the other day about their idea of fun and adventure. And they said the craziest thing to me. They said, I love to go into a new area that I've never been to before and just get lost. I was like, wait, what? Getting lost is fun? To me, that just sounded like the dumbest idea ever. You see, I view getting lost as one giant waste of time. Even if I know the way, I still punch the address into my GPS just to make sure I'm taking the most efficient route possible. The idea of going somewhere and having no direction doesn't sound awesome. It sounds stressful. What if I told you that a guy named Abraham was commanded by God to do something similar? Let's read Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. The scripture says, The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country and your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse. And all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. God gave Abraham a promise and a vague destination, but he didn't fill in any of the details. It would be like if I said, hey, we're gonna go to this restaurant and the food is gonna be absolutely amazing. It's somewhere in Phoenix. Your first question would be, well, what time? Do you have an address? Are we riding together? And what if I answered, don't worry about any of that. Just start heading in that direction. With the exception of the person who enjoys being lost, you would probably be really irritated with my lack of information. Following God requires faith. In fact, the scripture tells us the just shall live by faith. It also tells us that our steps are ordered by God. So we have to learn to trust God to fill in the details along the way. And he does. But that first step will always take faith. If you're the person who just wants to get lost, this might seem easy. If you're like me and like to know where you're going and create a plan, this requires total surrender to the plans and the purposes of God. Abraham showed us it's not only possible, but that God rewards us when we obey. And at the end of the journey, Abraham found himself blessed, but still he was being challenged by God to obey without all the details. This journey strengthened his faith in God. It prepared him for bigger steps of faith that he was gonna have in the future. God doesn't waste our lives. Everything he does is intentional and perfect, but you'll need to take a step of faith and decide that you wanna trust him, even if you don't have all the details. I hope this helps. Thanks for joining us today on The Daily Devo.